How you doing guys? It's Pete and Emily from PhysioFit and we're going to be talking about something that we're seeing a lot in the clinic lately. It's a lot in the news as well and people just aren't really sure about this one. When you, when you tear your ACL, when you do an ACL injury, should you have surgery or can you go back to high level sport without surgery? Now I'll put the question to Emily, our ACL expert here. Em, if someone does injure their ACL and they've done a full thickness rupture, can they go back to high level sport without having surgery? Yeah, but we're actually seeing a lot more athletes go back to sport a lot quicker without surgery now. And we're seeing that there's, you know, there's no real studies to say that people can't return to pivoting sports without an actual ACL there. Yeah. And you've got copers and non-copers, right? Yeah. Now, I've seen that a little bit. Can you explain to, to me and the people watching what that means? So when we try and work out who should and shouldn't have surgery, we try to divide people into those that are likely to cope without their surgery and those who are more likely to mm. need it. Um, so we look at a series of tests, including quad strength, some different hot tests and some questionnaires as well. And we find that the copers are the ones that tend to have better results for their injured leg and their non-injured leg. They're a lot more similar. Um, and we also see that and they're less likely to report giving way episodes and they're a lot more stable and stronger in their knee and much quicker to get back to their pre-injury levels. Mm. Because people seem to think that when you, when you do injure your ACL that you do have to go and get surgery and just, just for the people watching, what does a typical rehab process look like for maybe someone who does have that ACL surgery? How long does it take? What sort of processes are involved? Yeah, so it's it's a quite a long drawn out process. So you're looking at at least 12 months of rehab before you can return to sport safely. Not to mention the sort of mental, emotional, financial costs of actually going through the surgical process itself. Mm. And what does it look like for someone who who is a cobra mm -hmm. and who can do the non-surgical route? So yeah, it's just that means that that person can start to get into more, you know, gym-based exercises a lot quicker. They can get back to sport much sooner and they're not having to go through that, that process. And yeah, as I said, the financial cost of actually having the surgery as well. Mm. Um, so, you know, it can be a lot better mentally for them too. Mm. And probably the other thing is how much time, let's say, let's say you do get the surgery, what sort of time off a physical job would you have? That's another question I used to get a lot. Yeah, so it really depends on what their, their work is. But, you know, for people that are in more manual labour type roles, that, that might mean at least a couple of months off work before they're safe to be on uneven grounds again and mm. bending and lifting and moving about. So that time at home versus, you know, not having the risk of not having the surgery, you can get moving and get back to work a lot quicker. Love it. Now, for someone who's maybe injured their ACL or knows someone who's injured their ACL, how should they decide whether they should get surgery or not? I think it's really important to have that discussion with both your physio and your either sports doctor or orthopaedic surgeon to make a bit of a team mm. decision around it. Um, but the best practice model is that people do at least three months of rehab anyway, see how they're going with everything and then down that they can then decide if they want to have the surgery they can if they're doing quite well which surprisingly most people do then they don't actually need to so that's the best practice now so three months of conservative or you know active physiotherapy before you actually get the surgery or you look into getting that surgery yeah exactly most people are surprised at how well they can return to you know strength and running and sport just giving it a little bit of time to settle down amazing well, look, I hope you learned something. If you know someone who has an ACL injury or you've got one yourself, we'd love to get in contact. We'd love to talk a little bit more about how we can help you to either A, take the non-surgical route and get back to things faster, or whether you might fit into that non-COPA and helping you hook up with a really good knee surgeon. Thank you.